Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today I've got another one for those that love keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to show you how to make a keyboard shortcut that will launch any app you want with just one press. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a community of supporters. Join us and get exclusive content at MacMost.com slash Patreon. So there are so many ways to launch apps. You can use the dock. You can use Launchpad. You can use Spotlight. A lot of those you can do with just the keyboard. But what if you wanted to do it in the ultimate way with just one single press of one key on the keyboard. You can do that but you've got to use Automator to set it up. So I'm going to launch the Automator app and I'm going to create a new document. Now I get a choice of what type of document to create. In Mojave I want to create a quick action. Previous to Mojave these were called services. So I'm going to choose Quick Action and then at the top here I'm going to choose the option No Input is Received. We don't need any input here. We're just launching an app. We're going to set it to any application. We're going to add one single action to this workflow. And that's going to be to launch an application. And you'll find that under Utilities here in the library. Or you can just search here at the top and look for Launch Application. We're going to drag that over here and add it. Now all you do in Launch Application is you choose an application that you want to launch. So as an example here we're going to choose Calculator. Now we're going to save it. I'm going to use File Save or Command S and it's going to ask for a name. So we want to give it a name that makes it a unique menu item. It's very important. I'm going to choose the name Launch Calculator. Now I'm going to hit Save. I don't have to worry about where it's saving to because quick actions are always saved to a special location on your hard drive. Now we could test this out by hitting the Run button here and you can see it launches Calculator. So the next step is we want to assign a keyboard shortcut to run that quick action. And you do that in System Preferences. So we'll go to the Apple menu, System Preferences, and then we'll select Keyboard and we want to go to Shortcuts. So here's where you can modify and add keyboard shortcuts that correspond to menu items. So you may say, well what menu item can this correspond to? All we did was create a quick action. Well quick actions will appear if you go to the name of the application you're using, in this case System Preferences, and you look at Services. You'll see here Launch Calculator. That's what we created. And it's not just in System Preferences that we'll see that. If we go to the Finder for instance we see Finder, Services, Launch Calculator. That's because we said we wanted this quick action to be around for all applications. So all we need to do is assign a keyboard shortcut for Launch Calculator since it's a menu item that appears everywhere. So we'll go to App Shortcuts here and we'll hit the Plus button. And now we'll say we want this keyboard shortcut to work in all applications and we want it to look for the menu titled Launch Calculator. So you can see now why we needed a unique menu name for this. If we just called it Calculator or Calc or something like that it may have conflicted with another menu item at some point. But Launch Calculator is pretty unique. Now we assign a keyboard shortcut. So here you want to use something you also know that doesn't conflict with something else. Now I'm going to use F1. I'm going to hit the F1 key on my keyboard. Now you may not want to use something so simple. For instance if you use Photoshop or something like that it's going to already have a shortcut assigned to F1. Your shortcut is going to conflict with that. So you may want to do something like Command F1 or Command Option F1 or Command Option 1 or something like that. So now I'll hit Add. Now note that if you have under Keyboard if you don't have this checked you're going to have to use the Fn key to get F1 to work. But since I have that checked hitting the F1 key won't actually dim the brightness like the little symbol says but will actually act as F1. So now I can test it out by hitting the F1 key on my keyboard and sure enough it brings up Calculator. And it will happen anywhere. So if I go into another app, say I go back to Automator here, then F1 will bring up Calculator. Except sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just doesn't work. What's happening there is it takes a little while for the apps to catch on. So sometimes you switch to an app for the first time, you hit F1 and it doesn't launch Calculator. But then you go to the menu, go to Services and you see that the Launch Calculator item is there. It says F1. Then you try it again and then it works. So sometimes it takes a little time for it to work. Sometimes you actually have to look at the menu item at least once in the application. But eventually you'll find it does start to work across all applications and you could use that keyboard shortcut to launch your app. So the next thing you need to do is of course add all the apps that you think you may need to launch in this way. So you may want to use F1 through F9 to launch a bunch of different apps or Command Option in different numbers or any special keyboard shortcuts you want to get the applications you want to bring up quickly. Most likely you're not going to use this on the applications you use all the time. Like for instance Safari or Mail or something like that because you always have those apps running. But an app like Calculator is actually a good example of an app you may want to bring up really quickly and then quit when you're not using it anymore.
I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.